everybody in here and it's a little chilly outside so I got the hoodie on and my stocking cap and boy we had a huge rainstorm last night it just kept going and going and going I thought to myself whew, I can't wait to see what my property looks like tomorrow and the stream here take a look the first thing I noticed when I stepped outside was I was hearing a sound I had not heard before and that was the sound of water rapidly running so look at this. I think this is going to be the best spot to build a pond. I can just, because it's the widest, widest area already, just make it deeper and dig a little bit more over here, a little bit more over there, and voila, maybe line the bottom of it with some rocks and some pebbles. I think that that could work but it is just going so fast. I wish it would stay this way all the time. I think it's kind of pretty. Ooh, this one looks really pretty. Look at that. Look at all those little things on it. I love it. And check that out. I got my own little waterfall. It just sounds so cool. And it looks pretty too. And look at that fork, which is normally dry, is completely filled with running water now. I like it. But if it doesn't rain, this is going to dry up pretty much. So that's why I'm definitely going to look into digging that portion down there, just past the little, you know, the little area where there's some leaves and whatnot built up. I'm going to dig that deeper and I'm going to have myself a little pond. Oh my goodness, would you look at this. Look. Look at those mushrooms. And there's two different kinds too. Look at this. Ho, ho, ho. Let's see if we can get this in focus. I don't know if we can get it in focus or not. I'm going to have to look into this, but these may be... I'm not going to say until I look into it, but I think I know what these are, and I hope they get bigger. We're just going to have to wait and see. Oh, this is exciting, guys. Look at my mushrooms. I know it's hard to see, but these little white mushrooms are growing all over this stump. I don't know if they're going to get bigger. These may be a, a small version of puffball mushrooms. I'm going to look into them to be sure. I'm not going to pick any right now because I'm just wondering if they're going to get any bigger. This is so exciting. Oh, look at that. The white one that I'm talking about. Oh, that is so cool. And look at this. We all know what this is. This is a huge ant hill. Look at that. And look at that soil. That soil actually looks pretty good. I wonder if there's any way I can like use anthill soil for gardening. I don't know but man that's a huge anthill. I kind of like the way my property looks after it's rained and I cannot wait until things start getting green. It is just really really pretty out here. I sure wish that stream would be that wide all year long, but that would mean it would have to keep raining all year long. One of the reasons why I got this property and why I decided to live the way that I do is because the fondest memories that I have growing up as a child is going camping. And I always had so much fun and exploring and that's exactly what I feel like. I am basically camping out every day off-grid. Hopefully I can stay off-grid completely. I think I'm going to have the resources I need to be able to accomplish that. And just exploring my property every time. It's only 2.5 acres, but it's, it's 2.5 acres of a wonderland for me. I find new things every time I look around and um, talk to my son last night. He may be coming in May to help me take down a couple trees. That's what he does for a living and uh, try and get some more sun in in certain areas and I may have a helper for the drywall. Yay! Um, so I may let that project wait until May um, and bring the grandkids down and everything and 
um, just have an awesome, awesome family camping experience. Just like way back in the day. I mean, I just remember doing that and I enjoyed it so much. So this is what I feel like my life is every single day and I love it. Now, it's not for everybody. There are some inconveniences, you know, no running water, um, no flush toilets. You can't flip on a light switch. Uh, everything is solar powered. I use batteries and lamps and solar, you know, solar lamps. Lucy lights, I love those. I only have one. Uh, I hope to get some more. Those Lucy lights are just absolutely amazing. I just love them. They put off a lot of light and they last a long time on a full charge. So yeah, this is my life and I love it. I love it. I'm going to take the time to enjoy it more, do the things that I, I love to do today. I'm going to do something I don't really love to do and that is try and get up some more insulation. But otherwise, it's just, it's a dream coming true. It really is a dream coming true for me, and I'm loving it. So I'm going to share everything that I can with you. Hopefully I won't bore you to tears. <laughs> but I will tell you, I, I, I did, did want to make one little mention of the video that I made that I published yesterday about the virus situation and people's hysteria. Um, I already know that I've lost a few subscribers. Uh, at least they said um, in emails that, uh, you know, they don't didn't like my tone. Uh, they felt that I was mocking them, and really I was, because, you know, I, I, I'm not going to make any apologies for that video yesterday. Um, I gave information that you need to know, and a lot of people aren't going to listen to it. They are going to hold on to this strange fascination and hysteria that they have with this virus. Uh, and that's part of the reason why I got frustrated with nursing, is you could tell people how to keep themselves well but they're not going to listen. They're instead going to focus on their irrational fear of something that they will never be affected by, more than likely. Um, you know, you get somebody in the ER or you, you have someone that you go into their home and they say, I'm sick, I have, I have this virus, I know that this is what I have. Um, well, are you, are you coughing? Well, no. Uh, do you have a fever? Um, no. Uh, are you sneezing? I mean, are you short of breath? No. Um, well, your blood sugar is 605. Uh, have you been taking your insulin? Well, no. Um, what did you eat last night? Oh, a couple Hostess cupcakes, which means they ate the whole box. I just had, you know, just a couple Snickers and that's all. So they aren't willing to do the things to take care of themselves on a regular basis yet they are hyper-focused on a virus that they're, they're never going to come in contact with. And they'll go out and buy hordes of things they don't need. And I don't understand the whole thing with the toilet paper. This virus doesn't cause diarrhea. So I don't understand the whole toilet paper thing. Um, and maybe, maybe it's just that media is focusing on that. And maybe, I don't know, um, I don't get it. And it gets very, you get burnt out easily as a nurse when you have patient after patient after patient who is unwilling to do the things that they need to do to keep themselves healthy on a daily basis, yet they will rise to the occasion when the media has stirred up this, this mass frenzy over something that is, it is serious. Like I said in my video before, it is serious. It'll make you sick and people have died from it. Um, and especially the elderly, yes, they're more susceptible to illnesses such as this. But they're still unwilling to do the things to take care of themselves on a daily basis. Yet they will completely get hysterical about something that is never going to even affect them. And it just wears on you after a while. You know, um, I, I left Ohio and I swore I'd never be a nurse again because of this kind of thing. I mean, that's not all of it. It's There There was more to it, too. It got really burnt out. Um, I still do have my license to practice in Ohio, and I haven't transferred it to, to Tennessee yet. I still may. I may go back to it. I don't know. But I have to get rid of this frustration that I have with patients who are unwilling to do the everyday things that they've been told to do over and over and over again, yet they will 
jump on the bandwagon of hysteria and fear over something that is not going to affect them. So who knows? Um, I'm sad that I've lost subscribers. I mean, they say they, they unsubscribed. Um, I still, oh, I'm up to 1,500 subscribers. And it stayed 1,500 over the last few days. So maybe a few unsubscribed and a few more subscribed. So that is a really awesome development. I've got... 1,500 subscribers now. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever think that I would have that many people subscribing to this channel. It wasn't my intent to make you angry. It was my intent to make you think. And so I want you, the people who unsubscribed and sent me harshly worded emails, to think. What are you doing for yourself every single day to stay healthy? And if you are washing your hands, you're taking precautions, you're disposing of tissues properly, you are avoiding other sick people, if you're doing that, then you're going to be fine. So to the subscribers who left, I'm sorry, I'm sad to see you go, um, but still, I just want you to be rational and take good care of yourselves every day, not just when there's a virus spreading around. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.